Hi everyone, Shai here. I hope all of you are doing good. Welcome to another new video. Kim Jong-un, arguably one of the most feared leaders in the modern world due to his unpredictability, he's one of the most secretive and controversial leaders in the world, but how much do you really know about Kim Jong-un? From his mysterious childhood to his unexpected hobbies and shocking power moves, there's more to him than meets the eye. Well, today, we're going to comb through the facts and fiction surrounding this dictator, because we'll be uncovering fascinating things you didn't know about Kim Jong-un. Number 1. The 11 Day Happiness Band One of the most hated things about North Korea and Kim Jong-un in general is their absurd strictness to the point of violating several human rights. Apart from the mass starvation, the intricate surveillance, the absence of free speech, and the disappearance of people who even slightly rebelled, here comes this petty law. It's 2021, and it's been a decade since Kim Jong-il passed away. Ever since his passing, his son, Kim Jong-un, has been in charge of running this forsaken country. To honor the death anniversary of Kim Jong-il, a law has been passed, no laughing, alcohol, or any signs of happiness for the next 11 days. Absolutely ridiculous are the only to things that could describe this memorial law, but here we are, and Kim's very serious about it. A shudder in thinking what would happen to those who would just move an inch of their face and then some guard just takes them away to a gulag where they're never to be seen again. You can't just force people not to smile, but Kim does it anyway. You can bet safely that there are at least a few daredevils among them who are smiling underneath their masks. You gotta admit, this is honestly the biggest you laugh, you lose challenge you'll ever see. People who win will still be pawns to North Korea's oppressive regime, and people who lose, well, let's just say they'll never see the sun again. Number 2. North Korea's First Lady Alright, that last entry was from 2021, so I'm sure the 11-day happiness ban is over. So, even before being named an heir to the totalitarian throne, Kim Jong-un is actually spoken for. Yes, eat your heart out, boys and girls, because Kim Jong-un is married and to a beautiful younger singer at that. Her name is Ri Sol Ju. Your guess is as good as mine, but the only known things are that she's younger than Kim. She's a singer, and the juiciest fact they've been married for years now. Yes, it was only recently known to the public that Kim Jong-un has been married, but intelligence and espionage sources say they've already been hitched back in 2009. This footage was taken in 2012, just on the eve when Kim was finally seated in power. Sources claim that this was Kim and Ri's wedding celebration, where they enjoyed the day. This includes, but is not limited to, a grave visit, visiting children, patting them on the head, and even seeing a Disney musical show. Not even this family could escape the clutches of Walt's hostile media takeover. Despite the existence of a pleasure squad, Kim seems, and that's a massive seems, to be loyal to Ri Sol Ju. They have remained married since then. Number 3. The Supreme Leader's Supreme Diet now, let's address the Supreme Leader's miraculous diet. North Korea has so much food to offer if you were born in the right family, that is. Seriously, what does the Supreme Leader eat to get such a supreme weight? Well, the Supreme Leader is one of the wealthiest men in the country. He's dictating. So it would only be natural if he had a massive assortment of plates and meals at his disposal. Let's start with his Asian heritage. Thanks to his residence in the East, it has been witnessed and reported that Kim really loves the taste of the finest Asian cuisine, such as Kobe steak, sushi, and even shark fin soup. These are all top of the line and made by his personal chefs. Now, for his other tastes, which can range from everywhere else in the world, infamously, one of the reasons that the supreme leader has so much heft is thanks to a mental cheese. He's been devouring this Swiss goodness ever since his reported early years in Switzerland. Hell, the cheese was implied to be the biggest reason he briefly stepped out of the limelight in 2014. Looks like he really did some exercise after all. But that's not enough, considering he's been known to really chow down on the wealthier stuff, like lobsters and caviar. And now, the supreme leader's taste in beverages, he has an acquired taste for alcohol and wine, specifically Bordeaux wine, snake wine, Hennessy, cognac, and Russian vodka. Yeesh, these sound like liver sinkers, but add Brazilian coffee to the mix, and there you go. Now, if you ever find yourself scratching your head at gunpoint, thinking about what to feed this man, you're already prepared. Before moving on to the next point, I'd like to take a moment to introduce you all to my merchandise. You can support my content by getting your favorite products from my store or by simply joining my channel. Your support means a lot to me. Now, let's get back to the video. 
Number 4, The Supreme Leader's Military Fashion Sense We're done with his eating habits now, it's time for the Supreme Leader's Supreme Drip. Check this entry, as fresh as a few months ago, during late 2022. After that accursed viral outbreak and the summit's negotiations, Kim is back in black, or rather, white. Perhaps he's been busy churning out missile tests left and right. A total of seven took place in the span of two weeks. One of the missiles even flew over Japan, which gave its people either a fat man or little boy PTSD. Thanks to this bold display, the US and its allies are now somewhat at the doorstep of the Korean Peninsula, making sure Kim contains his fireworks display before something actually blows up. What Kim can't contain is his drip. Each of these tests made Kim show up in a different outfit. One had a bright white tunic and some black slacks with a safari hat, and in another test, he came with a brown jacket. Looks like Kim is taking a page from the Bond villains, because if you're going to threaten the world with weapons, you might as well look good while doing it. Number 5, Kim Jong-un's amazing gift to a reporter. Oh boy, looks like Kim caught up with his own critics in the media. Did he go like her? Well, quite the opposite. Kim gave this veteran newscaster a luxury Pyongyang apartment. Yep, your ears don't deceive you Kim gave his head propaganda mouthpiece a much-needed humble abode. Lee Chung-hee has been North Korea's head newscaster since 1971, and she and her family couldn't be more overjoyed for her new home. Either she's brainwashed or threatened, but at least now she's got a great home to live in. Let's hope she also enjoys some great meal. Number 6, The Supreme Leader's Supreme Generosity. And Kim's generosity doesn't end there. Back in 2018, after the North-South Korean summit, South Korean President Moon Jae-in received a special gift from North Korea's resident chubby leader, two cute dogs. These dogs were given to President Moon Jae-in as a token of Kim's gratitude. The dogs are insanely adorable, and the summit between North and South Korea actually went pretty well. President Moon Jae-in even held Kim in high regard. Of course, this was back in 2018, and then Kim recently went back to his old tricks again, almost triggering a global catastrophe when he sent a missile flying to Japan. Not to mention, his sister Kim Yo-jong has recently named South Korea to be full of, and I quote, human scum. Well, now that we're back to square one, I guess we'll have those dogs tested. If I were you remember, no photos, walk and sit still, and don't talk unless you're spoken to. That's it for 20 things you didn't know about Kim Jong-un. Isn't this dictator just a bit off? Tell us in the comments what weird facts you know about Kim Jong-un. So, that was all for today. I hope you have watched the video up to this timestamp. Make sure to press the like button if it amazed you. Press the subscribe button if you still haven't subscribed to the channel, as it's totally free. You can follow me on all social media platforms. All links are given in the description. You can also watch other cool stuff. The playlist link is also mentioned in the description. I will catch you up soon in the next video. Till then, peace out.